All right, hi, healthy dragons. I am Coach Cindy, and today I want to talk about a really important topic, and that's safety. So this is not specific to Dragon Boat. This is general fitness safety tips and tricks. So, and it's really important that you keep these in mind because we need you for the festivals and we need you to not be injured. So really, please, please watch this video. So the first one I want to address is posture and alignment. So any time you do any kind of a fitness move, including in the dragon boat, you want to make sure that, you know, you zip up the core. So core strength is really important because core holds you upright. It, it, it stabilizes your spine. And also you want to make sure that your ears and your shoulders and your hips and your knees and your toes are all lined up. So you're pulling your shoulders back, you're tucking your shoulder blades into that back pocket and you're standing up nice and tall. And that's for any kind of, of fit. So if you're doing squats, you want to be upright. If you're doing uh, lunges, you want to make sure that you're, you're posturally aligned. When you're reaching in the dragon boat, same thing. Everything is lined right up, always. All right, so that brings me to core strength and, that, and how important core strength is. And we did show you some standing plank moves, but anything that you do to strengthen the core is gonna help you quite a bit in any kind of fitness class because you wanna stabilize the core. So when you're moving your arms and you're moving your legs, your spine is protected, so important. All right, the next thing with flexibility. So anytime you're taking a class or any kind in dragon boat, in reaching, you don't wanna over stretch. So flexibility, in stretch movements, you always just want to go to the point of tension, never to the point of pain. And you want to hold it for a minimum of 15 seconds, even up to a full minute. And as you feel that that muscle relax, you can deepen into the stretch. So that, you know, flexibility, it's really important not to overstretch or to push or, or try to stretch further because that could, you know, quite easily damage the muscle. And again, you're no good to us if you're damaged. All right, this one is super important. It's called a parkour. You may have heard of it if you signed up for a fitness class before. They've gotten you to fill out a physical activity readiness questionnaire. And it's just a little bit of a checklist to say, you know, do you have any joint problems? Do you have any heart conditions? If you're not sure, it's really important too to go check with your doctor. If you're going to start any kind of physical activity, including Dragon Boat, check in with your doctor and make sure that he probably won't say no, but he may have some things that you need to watch out for or let your instructor know or your coach know to make sure that again, you are working out safely. So um, check in with your body and let whoever's training you know if you have any joint issues or heart issues or any conditions too, then we would keep that in mind in uh, developing our lesson plans. So check in the park queue, check in with your doctor. And another thing too that uh, again is important is we call it uh, RPE, so rate of perceived exertion. And this applies more to our cardio. And in a dragon boat, you all know that it's mostly cardio and it's really easy to maybe push yourself a little too hard. So if you have an idea uh, on how to gauge your cardio respiratory system and how much is too much or where you need to be or should be as far as your heart health is concerned it's you know and you don't have you can't be taking your pulse all the time or you don't have a fitness watch you can very easily determine where you're at by perception and it's a scale of one to ten super easy one being we're just standing here <laughs> and ten being your fingers are tingling you want to throw up you don't feel so good, you're dizzy, that's too high. What you want to be is between, in a cardio situation, where you want your heart rate to, to be at a training level, you want it to be between a six and an eight. So if it's past an eight, where you're starting to, to breathe really hard, you can't talk, you feel dizzy, you feel lightheaded, you need to dial it back a little bit. And learning how to, um, to monitor that and then as well as if you like if you get too high how to dial it down how to make it a little bit less intense for yourself to keep it safe all right so really important to know your limits and play within it it doesn't just apply to lottery it applies to fitness as well so be aware if you're not sure 
ask a trained prof professional, ask your trainer, ask your coach, ask your doctor, and um, just, you know, figure out what's the best level or what's the best and safest way for you to work out. So applying all that to any of the little videos that we are showing, their suggestions on some training techniques, um, but putting them all together, you can get a really effective Dragon Boat fitness class. Hi, Healthy Dragons. Don't forget to sign up to our YouTube channel to receive all the best videos.